Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about this Instagram post from the Winder family, which the Winder family is a polygamous family that has been on a couple seasons of Seeking Sister Wife. And this latest post from them, it seemingly, maybe unintentionally, is throwing shade at the Brown family. And that's what I want to talk about in today's video. Okay, so I have talked about the Winder family before on my channel. I cover Seeking Sister Wife. So whenever that comes back for another season, we're definitely going to be covering it. But I've also talked about just the differences I see in how the Winders go about trying to, you know, live a polygamous lifestyle on TV and kind of just the differences I, I see between them and the Brown family. I've discussed their, the contrast before and really what I think it comes down to is the Winders seem to prioritize the blending of the family unit. Whereas we see with the Brown family more and more, we see them prioritize their individual families over the family as a whole. And I'm not saying that that's wrong, but that really is leading to these separate family notions. And honestly, like we've talked about Cody's uh, COVID protocols at length, ad nauseum. It's been like the subject of two entire seasons of Sister Wives already. So it's been talked about. But by no means did this cause the family separation. It just cemented it, in my opinion. So a few days ago, the Winder family, and they post periodically. They have a family Instagram account. And they'll post like, you know, kind of updates of their family from time to time. I wouldn't say they're super, super active, but they definitely keep fans and viewers up to date. So a few days ago, they posted this reel to their family Instagram account. Take a look. intentionally but I'm also not not saying that so this was the caption to that reel plural marriage requires lots of work to achieve the simple necessities in life when we got married we both lived in separate towns we had to work hard to be in each other's lives traveling over an hour in order to see each other Sadie was the only child we had at the time and she got to see her daddy before and after he got off work we knew that we had to work hard in order to meet our goal of moving into one home together before we had any other children. We didn't want either of our children to have to go without seeing their daddy due to living in two separate towns. We also wanted our children to always have known each other as siblings and to know both of their mothers that care for dearly for them. We wanted a one household plural family. Shots fired. I don't know. Thankfully, we achieved that. And the clips you can see are the product of us achieving that goal. Hashtag adventures in Winderland. Hashtag Winder babies. Hashtag plural marriage 101. This is like the fundamentals. And oh, the shade. Unintentional or not. It's shade. <laughs> The Brown family of Sister Wives, they've been on TV for over a decade at this point. They are one of the most, if not the most, high-profile polygamous family that comes to mind when you think 
of polygamy. You think of probably the Jeffs, you think of the Browns, and it, their name is as synonymous with polygamy probably as any other high profile polygamist. And they make polygamy look fucking miserable. So I get why the Winders want to kind of change the narrative. Honestly, it would make sense to highlight how your family does things differently to other high profile Mormon polygamous families that you are undoubtedly going to be compared to. The Winders will and have been compared to the Browns. And it would it makes sense that they want to say, hey, this is how we do polygamy. They don't call out the Browns by name specifically, but they definitely emphasize the one plural family household and they stretch they stress the importance on Colton being able to see all of his kids all the time. Two very different distinctions between the way the Winders do it and the way the Browns do it. In the early seasons of Sister Wives, the Brown family was doing much of what the Winders are doing now. They were advocating, you know, individual liberty, but mo moreover, they were trying to differentiate themselves to what came to mind when you thought of polygamy. When you thought of polygamy, you thought of the FLDS, you thought of Warren Jeffs, you thought of uh, the women with the hair and the, the specific outfits. And they wanted to say, hey, polygamy is A-OK, -okay, you know, as long as everyone's consenting adults and da-da-da. And they really tried to make themselves in their own kind of corner of polygamy. And to a lot of extent, I think that they've succeeded. The only problem is that now... They really just are highlighting all the ways polygamy can ruin your life, right? I really like the Winder family. The first season of Seeking Sister Wives that they were on, I thought they were kind of boring. But that's, you know what? To be called boring when you're featured on a reality TV show, I think it's probably one of the highest compliments you can receive because that just means that you're not, you know, off the wall. <laughs> So that, you know, to me, they were kind of boring. And then in this latest installment, the last season, I, I found them to be incredibly endearing. We see them struggle with much of the same problems and struggles that the Brown family went through. Tammy, she struggles with infertility and, you know, all the ways Colton supports her that's completely different than the way Cody interacted with Mary. Um, I just, I, I find the Winder family to be very endearing and I hope that they, you know, keep this kind of positivity about how they're doing polygamy because you know what, at the end of the day, however you want to live your life is how you want to live your life, right? As long as you're all consenting adults, as long as you're not, you know, committing crimes, or, you know, abusing people. I think if if this works for you, then this works for you. But we see it so clearly how it's not working for the Brown family. I just found this post by the Winder family to be so interesting and so timely considering there has been no announcement of a new season of Seeking Sister Wife and we just wrapped season 16 of Sister Wife. So I just I just found it very interesting. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.